A chorus, also commonly referred to as a hook in rap music, has to be one of the most important elements of a rap song considering it's generally the most repeated part. You've got a catchy one, then it's a job well done, at least part of your song is gonna stick with people. However, if you've got a bad one, it can drag the rest of the song down to a fiery burning trash heap with it. Okay, I'm going over the top with that comparison. These songs are not garbage, but with each one that I'm gonna cover in this video, the hooks stop me from listening to them as much as I would like to, considering that I like the other elements of the tracks. And oh hey, look, it's another new CDTV backdrop. Don't get used to this one though, because I'm only in this apartment for like a month and a half before I move again. Anyway, let's talk about these songs. This is CDTV Productions, and let's take a look at some rap songs that I think were severely dragged down by their hooks. Say you want me, then you out of love, baby girl, you out of love. Ain't that social never join the club. For those of you who don't know, I liked Lil Tecca during the start of his run. Now, I can't tell you what 90% of Virgo World sounded like because I can't remember, but We Love You Tecca, that was some simple, enjoyable, melodic music to me, even if it is very standard and generic. I found it enjoyable. Maybe that's why I didn't really like Virgo World though, because it's not exactly music with a long lifespan. And Out of Luck could have been my top song from that project, but... You already know what I'm gonna say, the hook dragged it down for me a lot. This has one messy, imprecise, and at points kinda off-key sounding chorus. It sounds like what he's doing fits with the beat so loosely, focus on the piano loop in the background, and his vocals just don't align in the right way with it. I can't even play this song when I'm chilling with my friends, and that is the main purpose that Tekka's music serves for me. They already question my music taste. I play them this offbeat ass hook and I'm never getting handed the ox again. What sucks as well is that the bridge of this song which leads into the chorus sounds really nice and flows smoothly. That should have been the chorus instead in my opinion. My life a movie the way they be acting She said that she like on my eyelids This life I gotta appreciate Remember the time I ain't had this oh. If that was the hook Then this song would not be on here You better mind your business The chorus for this song is so annoying that I had it as my morning alarm for a whole year. Because I knew it would get me the hell up to go and turn it off. Also, it meant I started my day off on a low note so it could only really go up from there. You know those hooks where you just try to picture what the rapper looked like in the studio recording it? Now, before someone points it out, I do know that this is Ferg's modern version of an older chorus from the 1999 song Who Dat by JT Money. But it doesn't change how I feel about it. The chanted sound of the original version fit JT Money's song better and adds to the track, whereas the auto-tuned version Ferg does of it sounds hilarious and ridiculous to the point that it takes me right out of the otherwise hard sound of the track. Because the beat for this slaps, Ferg's verse is cool, and I really like hearing Quavo and Takeoff showing their chemistry when they share a verse and they're going back and forth with each other. But the most repeated part of the song is by far the weakest link. It's another case, kind of like Out of Luck by Tekka here, the song's bridge is way nicer than the hook. And again, this track would be better if that was the chorus instead. Who that, who that, who that on your Insta? Invited to my grill, we getting nasty. But that isn't how it is. Like I said at the start, if you want to wake up quickly in the morning, you know what to do with this song. It's funny because the chorus of this song actually represents my brain tuning out of what's being said as it continues. Just like Out of Luck by Tekka, I wish that the bridge for Ferg's song was the hook, 
And just like Ferg's song, body is bad to me because of the mind-numbing repetitiveness that is way more grating than it is catchy. And let's get one thing clear, I love Megan Thee Stallion's music, at least her pre-good news stuff. She has such a great flow and delivery that really leaves an impact on the track, and that's shown here with her just pounding the beat during the verses, just absolutely pegging that instrumental. And then it comes around to the hook, way sooner than I'd like, and the song is just begging me to click that skip button. It's too much. The chorus plays four times. Megan says body and Audi a total of 188 times on this song. There are three verses that only run for a minute in total when you add them up, which is less than the hook, which makes up one minute and 20 seconds of the song. And that makes this song pretty close to unplayable for me. Work That was another contender from Meg's Good News album for this video, Ride em like a rodeo. but Body definitely has the biggest gap between how enjoyable the great verses are and how off-putting the chorus is. And this song's for oh, all you! likes me, everybody hates me, they want me to go eat some worms, drag my name. Speaking of off-putting choruses, I am offended by the hook of Offended. <laughs> Every single reaction video I've watched to this song responds to that chorus in the exact same way that I do, in the way that I did the first time I heard it. Why the fuck didn't he even put a hook on it? Why did he just not make it a bar track? Popping up pills and still oxies and chills, can't beat and send around. Everybody likes me, everybody hates me, they want me to go eat some more. Drag my name through the mud, through the dirt, Oh, please, just get the fucking album over with. Oh, my God. Take that out. It's a great song. Just take that out. What is that? Except No Life Shag. He didn't seem to mind it, but that man has too much positive energy to hate on bad hooks in otherwise good songs. Maybe the rest of us are just miserable haters. Maybe that's why I make these videos. But for real, this was one of the few tracks on Revival where Eminem was going in, displaying his rhyming ability and fast flows and just having fun with it while saying a bunch of stuff that people might consider as offensive as he's known to do. The third verse in particular has some incredibly smooth flows that are so great to listen to. I'm writing your ass Foot up and I stood up for the kid who had to put up with the bullies out of school. But it's embedded in my head, I never hunted for the bread and butter. What I wanted was to be the one that they was scared of, but I'm never gonna get the credit for the sweat and blood I put up in the pen. But that nursery rhyme ass chorus. It is a complete roadblock between the verses. It feels like the whole tempo, rhythm, and sound of the track completely switches, and it's such a jarring switch that it completely throws you off. As Tabby and Big Quint said, this should have just been one big long verse with no chorus, because that would have been much more fitting for the song. Sure, maybe the point of the hook was to be bad, to be offensive to the ears, so to speak. But does that context make it any better? Hell no, man. I would rather have a song I could listen to the whole way through and be bopping my head to the whole time, rather than one where I have to stop every minute and a half or so to look perplexed, disgusted, and fed up. Not even the best songs on Revival could go without falling victim to at least one bad choice. Cause baby, I know my old bitch miss me. I miss you. Who told this man he should sing? Just like Nasty, I want to know how the hell the baby looked when he was recording this. When he said at the start of the song that he was going to do some sad shit, I knew it served as a warning for the atrocity that was about to come. I should have stopped the song at that very point when I first heard it, but I continued and then went on to hear this man crooning about heartbreak, sounding like a bad contestant on The X Factor. Cause I know, I know, my old bitch miss me. Tell me what I did to you. Thought I kept it real with you. I know, let's go get a crib. I can live with you.
Everything else except the hook is the typical quick pace the baby flow, and I like how that sounds, but that's it. I don't have much else to say about this one other than it's just bad singing, I'm sure you guys get the point. Baby has acknowledged before that he can't sing, so that self-awareness is nice to see, but man, he really can't sing. I don't wanna be Now, I know what someone is about to hit me with on this one. Oh, CDTV, you just don't get it. Joyner is singing poorly on this hook because the song is from the perspective of kids talking to their parents, and kids can't sing. And my response to that is, even if that is true, then that means the song isn't consistent because kids can't rap with confidence either, like Joyner does during the verses of this song. But that is how he raps. Normally in a way that sounds good, in a way that's listenable. It's a shame the hook is booty cheeks on here because the song has incredibly good content throughout, covering the topic of children growing up with their parents being awful role models to them. They don't want to be like them. It's executed impactfully and really makes you think about the disadvantage people start their lives with if their parents aren't someone they can look up to and aspire to be like. In the background of the hook later on in the song, you can hear the sound of children singing the chorus, behind Joyner's vocals, and in my opinion that should have been brought forward in the mix and made the hook of the song. I don't wanna be girl just like you. I don't wanna be just like Completely remove Joyner's part and just have a chorus of kids singing it. That would completely fit the song and would sound a hundred million times better in my opinion. Because the song is well written narratively and has good content, but the chorus being the way it is, is the reason that this is one of my least played songs from Joyner's 508 mixtape. Big cheese balling, you speak darling, you talk shit but I keep smiling. And for our final song here, we have a track from my favourite rap album of 2018, Taboo by Denzel Curry. Similar to Just Like You by Joyner, I do like what Denzel is talking about on this song. It fits the theme of the album it's on very well, I think the lyrics are strongly written, and that beat switch at the end? Oh my god. But the way the melodies on the chorus hit just doesn't sound appealing to me. It's one of the very, very few songs on Taboo that I would consider skipping when listening to the album the whole way through. I mean, I probably wouldn't end up skipping it just because I love the album so much and I really appreciate listening to it in one go, but I would consider it. Also, I remember ages ago when I looked at the Hip Hop Head subreddit discussion about this song and someone said that it sounded like he said, Dick Cheese Ballin at the start of the hook. Dick so it's been really hard to hear it the same way ever since. Now the title for this video strongly applies to most of the songs that I've picked for it, but I would say for this one specifically, it applies more in a hyperbolized sense. But that's to be expected with YouTube titles anyway, right? Exaggeration is what we YouTubers as a species have mastered. Yes, this hook doesn't completely drain the track of merit and make it unlistenable, but it does make it worse in my opinion and makes me quite a bit less likely to choose to listen to it. Stream Taboo though, that album still goes crazy. Well guys, that is going to be it for the video today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this one and of course if you did, I would appreciate you leaving a like and subscribing if you want to see more content similar to this video. Hope you guys like the new setup I've got going on. I have no clue how the audio is going to sound in this apartment, but hopefully everything on the camera looks good and if I seemed a little bit uncomfortable in this video, I'm just trying to get used to the new setup and the fact that the walls in this apartment are very thin and I'm scared that the people next door to me can hear every single word I'm saying and just all the all the weird shit that I speak about in these videos. And of course, a big shout out to all my supporters on Patreon and a special shout out to my top supporter, I Am Region. Really appreciate all you guys. I really wasn't expecting to hit my first goal on Patreon so quickly, but we did, so thank you. And that's all I've got to say for today, guys. And I'll hopefully see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. And this is CDTV Productions. Signing out.